How many buttons are on your TV remote? A lot of remotes have way too many buttons, and on top of that, they can be poorly organized. Having so many options can cause undue stress and confusion when you're just trying to perform a simple task like changing a channel. Some companies have realized this and are now designing simpler remotes. Whether they know it or not, they've applied Hick's Law or the Hick-Hyman Law, a principle named after two psychologists. This law explains why having too many options negatively impacts a user's experience and makes it harder for them to complete a task. Designers use it to help simplify the decision-making process for users. Hick's Law can be applied to any type of design work, whether it be a website, mobile app, or physical product. It's also relative to the type of task a user is trying to complete. Hick's Law best applies to simple direct tasks, as opposed to complex ones. It's especially important when it comes to time-sensitive tasks, where response times are critical. We use it when designing digital and physical interfaces for medical devices. If an alarm goes off on a medical device that's monitoring a patient, it needs to be addressed as quickly as possible. Reducing the number of physical buttons on the product and cleaning up the interface to make the UI more understandable enables a nurse, doctor, or caregiver to act confidently and immediately. Car interiors are another area that are ripe for Hicks Law. Drivers often need to perform tasks blindly and quickly while keeping their eyes on the road. It can be a challenge for designers to find the right balance of controls to let the driver complete a task without frustration and without limiting their abilities. Hicks Law can be especially powerful when combined with visual design principles, like adding contrast to a particular control or grouping similar controls together. As you evolve as a designer, you'll get a better feel for the best approach. If you're ever unclear about how simple is too simple, do some research, whether it's online research or actual testing with users. Always remember who you're designing for and what those users need to achieve with your product.